Yeah, you like that, don't you? This is my short loop of this. It's 35 minutes long. It's my inspiration tape. I thought I would share it all with you, you know, because we're all open to process here. Why are you laughing? <laughs> who knows who that is? Jimi Hendrix. 1970, live. I took that out. And I copied it. And I pasted it over and over again. Why? Who wants to know why? I don't know, <laughs> but I like it. I made that loop three years ago. Jimi Hendrix recorded that a year before I was born, 1970. The band of gypsies who had Irish roadies. <laughs> Black people playing music need Irish roadies. <laughs> Why do I listen to that? Why did I make a 30 minute loop when I could just put it on loop? I don't know that either. <laughs> Jimi Hendrix said he was really lonely before he found the guitar. I'll tell you something that I never got to tell Jimi Hendrix is that I was really lonely before I met him through his music. Because I can tell he was really lonely before he met the guitar. And that's what's important here. Who cares about anything else? Jimmy Hanks is the type of guy who would stand in a room and go, look at me, I'm not here. It's the kind of guy who chokes on his own vomit and dies. Children are the inevitable mathematical future of the world. They're like these little cosmonauts. Sometimes people come to me and they say, what does it mean? What is it for? And what does it do about my art? What does it mean? Sometimes it's a fun conversation. Sometimes it's really short. Like, I am an artist, and after the fact, after it's all done, sometimes I find out what it means. Like, I'm the first guy on an accident. People run over, and they're like, what happened? Which is code in the art world for what does it mean? And I'm like, I don't know. I just got here. They don't like that. <laughs> they want to know from me, the expert. And then they say, well, what is it for, and what does it do? And I'm like, you know what? Fuck you. <laughs> Like, what am I doing? Like, cranking these out? Rubs your ass, makes you coffee in the morning. It's art. It was here before you. It's going to be here after you. What's going to be here during the zombie apocalypse, besides what you need? Bullets, penicillin, food, water, and teamwork. <laughs> in Italy, when the guy... His wife was cheating on him in the medieval times. This is why they called them medieval times. The whole town would go to his house and pull him out and put horns on him and drag him through the village. Because he didn't know. Are you going to trust that guy with your back? No. So they paraded him through towns. In Italy, they still say, he wears the horns. When the, when the Russian writers, artists, would write, the state is bad, where would they send their book? To the state publishing agency. <laughs> And then these guys would be like, put this guy in jail and kill him after he's in jail. And what'd they do? They wrote a book that didn't say that right away. They wrote a book like, the tiny spaceship landed on the... And they'd, they'd be like, print a million copies. And somewhere in there was a code that didn't have a key like the Enigma code. So it didn't require a fucking computer required people to read it and go, you know what this story reminds me of? How the state is bad. 
Whoosh, hey. They had a revelation. Revelation contamination says you can't think about one area of your life without thinking about all of it, which is why denial means don't even know I am lying. That's how powerful this brain is. You don't need an fMRI scanner to tell you that, but it helps. <laughs> so they write the spaceship book out of necessity. And what is the code to decode? It's in the code. All keys are in the code, because you've got nothing else besides the code. It's in there. Sometimes the person has the key, but the person trying to decode it doesn't, which is why they don't know what it says, which is why the codes of contemporary art are in the context in which it was made. And you gotta, you gotta just reverse engineer it. Because you can't ask an artist what it means. They haven't made it yet. And even when they just made it, they're like there, you know, they're like tria, and like, ah, oh, you're at the gallery opening, you've been up all night. Nobody fucking knows what it means. Let them spend some time with it. Don't ask them anything. Because it doesn't matter. Because your experience with it is much more important. What does that mean? It means that children are non-rational actors that can leap from consensus reality and consensus reality not adopting or instantiating any single one. It means they believe whatever they want to believe and think whatever they want to think, which means children are insane. <laughs> They're the only insane people you'll ever love. And hopefully the only insane people you'll ever meet. They can teach us how to think. When was the last someone, time ever, someone was like, oh, walked up to you and said, oh, how'd you think? They always are like, why'd you think that? What were you thinking? Or, hey, that's really cool. I saw your presentation at TED Talks. What were you thinking? <laughs> they don't say, how were you thinking? Kids can teach us that. And when we learn that from them, our failed ideologies will become successful ideologies because kids don't try to match ideology to material possibility. They just keep thinking. What does that mean? Ask me later. <laughs>